hello my loves and yeah welcome back i guess i'm going to be doing a get ready with me unfiltered it's just me this face i'm going to show you guys kind of what i've been doing for makeup um i know i haven't uploaded in a very long time nothing makeup related so this is just off my cell phone it's going to be uploaded probably throughout the day it's just going to be a slow upload um this is kind of how my hair is going to stay i'm going to try a left side part um for the first time in a very long time. Anyway, let's get ready, right? I have to go to work, <laughs> I'm late, no one cares. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you guys my makeup routine lately, uh, especially with me working, still two full-time jobs and stuff like that. By the way, this is the new um, makeup room. Uh, and yeah, we could do like a life update thing, right? Whatever. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my um, Hydro, milk hydro grip primer now i moisturized my skin already and everything like that so i'm gonna go ahead and use my primer two pumps that's what i use i feel like one of those people that don't know what the hell they're doing because it's like their first time filming because it has been that long since i filmed so this is a raw unfiltered <laughs> get ready with me video Dogs might start barking, making noise. The cat might come in here and barge in here and be an asshole. All that good stuff. I love the Hydro Milk Grip Primer. And I also love this bad boy right here, this e.l.f. one. Um, my cousin sent me that. Um, I love it. It's the Jelly Pop. It, clearly, I've used it. It leaves this beautiful sticky layer. Anyway. Now, I'm going to be using products that you guys may or may not like. They're old products. It don't matter. Um, I don't have to explain myself with the products that I'm using, but I know, like, for instance, I'm going to be using uh, the old Shade and Light palette from You Know Who. It is what it is. Anyway, I'll show you guys exactly what I've been doing. I have not been putting on, like, straight foundation on my skin, per se. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So I'm going to take the Born This Way Concealer. Um, this one's in the shade Vanilla. And I'm just kind of, I'm out of breath. It's probably anxiety. <laughs> and I'm going to take it right here around the nose and on my chin. Okay. And then I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer. This one's in light beige. Now, I mix them because it gives me the perfect neutral tone for my skin. Now, this freaking concealer is like... I only put it like right in the middle. It needs, for me, it needs another concealer to help mix it because this stuff's like, I don't wanna say like cement, but once it dries fast, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculously pigmented and very drying on me personally. So anyway, I am hoping, I'm gonna lighten up the video a little bit. I'm hoping that, anyway. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and take the concealer and I'm just gonna press this. I get a lot of redness on redness on my chin. A little redness on my chin. And around my nose area. Now I was using a smaller brush. I was using my Sigma Precision P80 brush, which is my favorite brush. But I ended up just using my foundation brush, which my favorite one is unfortunately Morphe M439 brush. Is my favorite. So as you can see, I'm just kind of taking it and blending it outward. I know, I have pink redness here and now I'm like this neutral, yellowy, olive color there. <laughs> I'm taking whatever's left on the brush and just kind of blending it. And then taking it on my forehead right here. Cause I turn red right here, like it's the craziest thing. So I don't, it's so pigmented that you really don't need anything. All right. Now I'm going to blend my concealer, but I'm going to use a brush first because I find that I get the most coverage this way, especially when I'm in a rush, because normally I'll just let it sit. So I can just take it and spread it around. Not taking too much product off. I'm literally lightly moving it around. 
like that. So it looks messy and crazy and streaky, but I'm kind of just moving it around so it dries up faster. So when I blend it with my beauty blender, it's good to go. So in case you guys haven't noticed, um, if you've watched my snaps and stuff like that, well, actually my last few videos on um, YouTube have been in my car. So I can't expect you guys to know everything, um, but we bought Okay, I got really interrupted, so I'm gonna have to do some editing somehow, some way. But anyway, um, we bought a house back in May. And we moved in we closed in may and we moved in anyway i'm just taking my brush and blending it in just because i i put a lot more concealer than i wanted to and i'm going to take my beauty blender and blend it and watch how clean it'll look like it's like magic and i love concealer especially really really pigmented concealers for days that i don't want to do too much because i use so much less products Anyway, I wasn't trying to just skim by the part where I bought a house. <laughs> yeah, my husband and I bought a home. And we're very, very happy. No more crazy fucking loud neighbors. I'm so happy um, in our home. Like, I'm just elated, gleeful, and at peace. So you guys can see, smooth as fuck. I'm going to do the other side. This side looks crazy, right? Um. So anyway... And I thought I updated you guys, but I'm not sure because I can't remember my ass from my elbow. I still work two full-time jobs. I work seven days a week. Um, and just recently, I bought my dream car, brand new dream car, like legit, brand new. I never thought in a million years I would be saying these things. I, I never thought in a million years I would be saying these things. Um, I mean, I wanted to. Those were goals. Um, that I set forth with my family. Um, we speak about them all the time. I was grateful enough to have a newer car um, that I purchased a couple years ago. And that's when I started working the two jobs. But to say like, oh, finally, we have a house. I don't have to deal with shitty fucking neighbors, all that good shit. I I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm still in shock. But anyway, I know I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. You're here to watch it. You watch it. If you're going to complain in the comments, get ready. Because I'll make time. That's it. Oh, I'm out of breath. I think I have anxiety. Because I haven't filmed in so long. And I just got interrupted. So now I have to figure out a way to edit this. Anyway, I'm going to take... Actually, no. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, This is a brand new one that I picked up. I haven't bought any new makeup, guys. I really haven't. And I'm gonna take a brush and just kind of set. Um, wow, that's a lot of powder. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So yeah, we bought a house. Um, I have my own beauty space. I filmed so many snaps in here. Like I feel like I've updated pretty much everyone, but I know not everyone watches Snapchat. And. I definitely don't have people on my Facebook um, other than people in my personal life. Um, it just has to be that way and it will stay that way. Um, but yeah. Yeah, wow, 2021 has been pretty good to me. I'm not gonna lie. Um, anyway, as you guys can see, I didn't set my under eyes yet. So what I do is kind of let it sit there and build up um, and dry up a little bit more so that the pigment stays there. So I don't look so sallow throughout the day. And then I take it and I blend it a little bit more. Now I'm going to take my Cosette S123 brush, take a little bit of powder, start from the outside in, and press it in to set that concealer under the eyes so it doesn't look like crepey and dry. My, my eyes are ridiculously crepey because I have deep set eyes. So, yeah. All right, so you set that. That's it. That's my whole face. Looks like I have a lot of, well, it doesn't look like I have a lot of foundation. I'm not lie there. Um, I don't. So that's pretty much it. I don't use a lot of powders anymore. I've been, you know, dimming down on that a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take another powder. This is the MAC 
um, me medium golden mineralized skin finish. So this is a powder foundation. Kind of, sort of, you know. Anyway, so I take a little bit of that and just build up some coverage right here where I wear my mask. And that's pretty much it. Like, I don't do too much. And then I take it right here on the forehead so it looks like I have something on my hairline. And that's it. That's it for powder. You just take whatever's left on the brush. All right, so I'm gonna bronze real quick. I'll show you guys what I do. Um, I'm taking my favorite contour type bronzer and this one is Sunkissed, Milani Sunkissed. This is zero two. Uh, I like it because it's so like cool neutral. And I take my next favorite brush. It's the Eco Tools fan brush. And I just take it and blend it. If you have difficulty kind of contouring and bronzing and stuff like that, and you feel like you go heavy handed, get a soft, fluffy brush. I tell everyone all the time, you can't really fuck up if you use something fluffy, so that way you can blend it. And use a light hand, like don't press on your face, even though it does look like I'm doing that, but I'm not. I'm trying to work fast here, but you know, this is gonna be like an unedited video. Anyway, I'm mad my alarm went off. I don't even know if I hit snooze or what. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna edit that other part together, like meld it together. Whatever, I don't know, I'll figure it out. I don't know how, but it might be a part two. All right, the contour part is done. Now I'm gonna take this fluffy brush. I got this from like a unicorn brush set. Love it. And I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Private Island. It's kind of whatever. Excuse me. And then I just take it over top the cheek and above the contour. And it just warms up the face. This is literally my everyday look. I'm not going to lie. It really doesn't change for me. Except the products do if they stop working for my skin. So like, I like using this kind of like I would a blush um, and it helps blend that contour part. And it's such a loose brush, you can get away with it. It's a dense enough brush, but it's like, it's really good. All right, now I'm gonna take my Cosette number three brush. I love Cosette brushes. And I'm going to take um, the Animal Crossings by ColourPop blush. This one is Flower Tender, it's orange. It's well loved. You don't need much, but because I wear masks, well, you know, we have to wear masks. Just, I use a lot. Take it on my nose and kind of put it like that, whatever's left on the brush. And that's it. Now, Highlight. I'm going to take the After Sex Glow by Wet n Wild. This shit is well loved. All right, I'm gonna highlight. I actually mix both. I just tap into both. And then I just highlight my cheeks, nose, bridge of the nose. Cupid's bow, chin. And then I take a little bit right here on the brow, even though I haven't done my brows yet. By the way, they're still microbladed from last year. I've had it for over a year. I have, I must have like a whole bunch of stills and videos from when I did that. Excuse me. And I just haven't been able to upload it. There's a lot of editing that goes into that one. Especially with the phone. I don't know the quality of it. Anyway, highlight done. Now. I'm gonna spritz my face real quick with the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. I still have the same squeaky chair. Sounds like it's farting. It's, it is what it is. Quick spritz. Someone took my fan. I probably took my own fan. All right, now for eyes. I'm gonna be using the old OG. This is the old one. Uh, Shade and Light Palette. I actually love it. I can't care less anybody's opinion it is what it is i didn't buy or put any more money in anyone's pocket this is something i've had since i think it released 
or shortly after. Anyway, I'm gonna take a mix of these two shades, the last two shades. You could take any bronzer shades you have. I just want a little bit more smoky eye. Oh, still my Sonia Kashuk. Oh my God, 109 brush. I have like a lot of these. I have on my old makeup kit and I have like four, two or two or three, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just taking this on the crease as you see there and blowing it out. You don't need much of the bronzer products um, really, unless you have like a really like real cheap bronzer that you like to use, you might need to pile it on. But like, as you can see, like it gives me just that simple crease that I need. I don't need much, y'all. And yes, I'm about to do my brows real quick. I can't believe I'm filming this. I don't know what the hell made me do this, but whatever. Neither here nor there. Um, hopefully just the alarms don't go off anymore. I have like 15 minutes before my next alarm goes off, actually. <laughs> anyway, I'm just building it up a little bit more and just blowing it out on the ends here. This is my favorite brush ever. I've had it for years, 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 years. Okay, so now I'm gonna skip that for a second. I'm gonna take my Maybelline um, Lasting Drama Liquid Eyeliner. I can't find my fucking black liner. Um, anyway, I'm gonna take uh, one of my Royal Land Nicole eyeliner brushes. And I'm going to take this stuff. It's like, I don't know if this is waterproof. I doubt it. Anyway, I'm going to be doing my lash line. I like a dark lash line. Squeeze and press. And then tight line. I'm looking in the mirror straight ahead. I feel like I should have done this as a live, but then I didn't want it to um, take me out if one of my alarms went off because I totally forgot to turn them off. Anyway, close this up so it doesn't dry. So I might do a nail room, beauty room tour. Um, I have my own nail desk now. Um, I separated everything. I have storage, of course. I have my shoes here, which is not my favorite thing, but not my worst thing either because they're all heels. Tight lining makes my eye water every time. But anyway, okay, now that now that that's done, so the reason why I tight line first before I put anything on my bottom lash line is if in any case I get liner there, then I can blend it out with the brush. I'm going to take the darkest shade and I'm going to take my Smith 220 brush. These are not cruel. They're cruelty free, but they're not vegan. Um, so anyway, I love these brushes. Smith brushes are fucking amazing yeah you do you guys can probably hear the cars driving by i live in a beautiful town not complaining anyway i'm pressing this on the bottom lash line yo i don't hear my neighbors i don't have nobody to fucking stomp above me if anything the ones that stomp the most is duke when he's my dog duke when he's running around running amok anyway did that now I'm gonna take the brush that I set my under eyes and just kind of dust away in case anything has fallen through that's it for eyes bing bing boom boom all right I'm just gonna brush my brows real quick I'm using my NYX micro pencil in black in black look how fast watch watch how fast my brows get done like it really is like not much to it. Just get a mirror so be a little bit up close type thing. Not too close, I think. I don't know what I'm saying. Literally, that's pretty much it. Why my stomach is betraying me right now and gurgling is beyond me. The only thing I really have to do is an arch so that it kind of like looks even because I have a high arch on this um, brow. But really, that's it. For like, I've used the same pencil all fucking year. Like, I have not. Oh, by the way, I like Sensence Enhancers. If you're new here, welcome. And I know some of you guys watch me for my bariatric stuff. 
I have not had an update. Nothing, spe um, excuse me, nothing spectacular. Just don't build up a lot of air. I burp a lot. I mean, it is what it is. Um, I haven't met my full goal weight yet. Not that I'm far from it, but uh, yeah. So yeah, I had the revision done last year, August. And I'm a year out from the revision. I'm the lowest weight I have ever been in the longest since I was like, before I was pregnant. And that was like over 21 years ago because now I have a 21 year old. Um, so as far as the weight loss stuff goes, I don't have no updates except that I can drink water. I can eat without having any reflux. Reflux is gone. Um, now my stomach is betraying me and it's starting to gurgle because it's probably hungry and I don't really care. Um, I did eat something about an hour ago, so I don't know. Yes, I was awake, like, mad early. It's like 6.45 right now. 6.50. I lied. All right, so that's pretty much it for my brows. I don't know how many minutes that took, but that's that for brows. Oh no. Um, now I'm going to do mascara. I'm going to use my favorite mascara ever, and it's my Lash Princess mascara. Um, that's pretty much going to be it for makeup, except I'm just going to throw on some gloss. Um, so I pile on the mascara. If y'all yeah, don't know me by now. I love this mascara. It's $5. I always buy one, get one half off or not. I don't care. I'll use coupons. Ulta is the best place for me to buy it. Um, and that's pretty much it. Like, look at the difference it makes on one eye. And I just pop it on the bottom lash line like a little baby bit. Like, I don't apply too much. I just accentuate those lashes right there and go back to piling it on here. All right. And then that's it. Do the other eye. Sometimes I could spend five minutes on my lashes depending on how clumpy I want them. I know this angle is so appealing. Um, at least I don't have like a quadruple chin like I used to. That was always a plus. <laughs> um, my dog's in his crate and he's throwing himself trying to get comfortable. <laughs> Freddy's funny. Alrighty. I mean, as far as updates goes, I don't have anything else besides, yay, we bought a house and I was able to get my dream home in 2021, my dream car in 2021. I have peace of mind in 2021. And I'm still fucking working and I'm still hustling and busting my ass and tired. But I come home at peace. I don't sit in my car anymore and cry because I don't want to go in the house or in the apartment that I was living in because of the noise. I don't have um, anxiety as much. Uh, as far as noise goes, I'm very, very uh, sensitive when it comes to uh, noises. Um, yeah, this is a lot. Um, maybe one day we can get more in-depth of that stuff. But at this point, I'm sure a lot of you suffer from some sort of mental illness or have um, triggers or things that set you off or tra from trauma or anything like that. So you can understand where I'm coming from when it comes to me saying that just certain things don't work well for me. Um Anyway, if there's anything that you take out of this video is get the Milk Hydro Primer and Essence Lash Mascara. Two spectrums of price. Uh, one's more on the mid-range luxe, eh, mid-range pricing. And this is five dull hairs, five, five ninety-nine. Um, and yes, I have a backup of that one and then I have a backup of this one. This one's the one that has like a curved wand. I prefer this one. I haven't tried the waterproof version, but if you're a girl that needs the waterproof, they have a waterproof version of the Lash Princess. And I I might just pick it up because I like using waterproof mascara on my bottom lash line, especially since having to wear masks all the time. Um, it kind of rubs on my bottom lashes and makes it look a little weird sometimes throughout the day. But yeah, I could apply mascara for like fucking 10 minutes. So yeah, anyway. I miss you guys. I miss filming. I miss editing. I just don't have my full setup. I have my ring light, my camera, my monitor and everything. I just have not taken the time out to physically make sure everything is like set, lighting and everything. My lighting is literally at the side of my desk. 
um when this room is set and done and decorated how i want it to and the walls are kind of more filled in this is like of course my favorite part i have all my starbucks cups there and then i have all my candles from um jackie um forever mood now y'all know i love her so i don't care um so i mean once this room is done i can give you guys a full tour um and i've done it a few times like on instagram and ig just kind of showing like my storage stuff but i'm not done yet i'm not done yet and i'm just living life and trying to get used to this schedule with being home um i started on i transitioned to a new position during the day so i'm in a new setting um not anything different than i was doing and it's people that i already know and they know my work ethic and stuff like that so it's great um so a lot of stuff has happened in 2021 and in the last six months wholeheartedly a lot of shit has happened and changed for my family and I so listen hard work does pay off you set your goals and you stick to them and you don't take no for an answer and you can take no for an answer but keep pushing don't take no for an answer and stay there don't stay stuck on that no okay that no means it's another opportunity to move on so you can get a yes for something else trust you me fuck had I said that shit to me like three years ago to myself, I wouldn't have believed it. No fucking way. But you know what? I stuck by it. And that's it. Look at that. I am done. I'm going to take my uh, Sweet Mouth Fenty Lip Gloss. I don't know. Gloss bomb. And literally, these are the, this look. I'm going to layer lip glosses because this one's nice and thick. And I love my gloss bombs, of course. Um, and I'm going to take this Vive Cosmetics lip gloss. This is Latina owned. I love Vive Cosmetics. This gloss is in KIT kit. I forgot what it meant. And this is a beautiful nudie. Look at this. That's gorgeous. I layer it on top. Ta -da, that's it this is my completed look this is how i go to work pretty much every day of the week um i didn't put on too much i didn't put on any foundation except for powders i moved around my concealers instead of just kind of letting them sit there and look cakey and crepey i used it and figured out how it works best for my skin um i think most people can do this um with pretty much any skin type um for those of you on the drier end you may want to use something that's like myself hydrating and maybe something a little bit more pigmented and drying but just use a dot of that my skin looks more on the like set natural not natural um but you know what i mean like it just doesn't look caked on because it isn't i moved everything around i blended everything in i like to see my skin i like to see my moles my birthmarks everything I don't mind seeing that. The only thing I don't want to see is the super redness and the uneven skin tones. Um, that's what the bronzer and, you know, contour and all that, the blush, those are enhancements that you add in to kind of structure your face. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm so happy that you guys joined me on this. Um, I hope I get to upload this. And if I do, comment down below. Let me know what you like to see from me. I will... <laughs> I can't promise anything um, because I get so tired just even thinking of me having to do this setup and filming again to have to edit and do all that um, freaks me out. I don't know why. Um, I think I've just had anxiety because YouTube has changed a lot. Social media has changed a lot. A lot of things are happening in the world. Um, a lot of people are sick. A lot of people are mean, nasty, and fucking miserable. And I just don't want that caca energy in my fucking space. So I... That's why I've been like kind of, I don't know, just not, not in it, not in it to win it. And I miss YouTube and I miss filming and I miss that aspect of my life. I miss wigs. I miss all that. Um, but at this point, I had to step away for my mental health and just to be able to enjoy um, all of these things that I was able to accomplish with my family and I. So I couldn't just keep going, keep going, keep going full force. I had to focus on what I wanted at that point. So I'm sorry if you guys haven't seen me a lot. Um, I, I will be back on YouTube. Uh, YouTube will always be a part of me. Um, I just 
I'm treading lightly and this is how I decided to come back beauty wise um yeah that's pretty much it let me know if you guys have like a specific favorite primer I have my Tatcha primer right here sitting because it's so beautiful it just needs to sit there um I have so many primers but I always love hearing what you guys like to use and what kind of uh, skin types you guys have Anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I miss you guys so much. Love you. And if you're new here, welcome to the fucking madness. Hey, my loves, this is the outfit. It's got pockets. Shoes are from Kohl's. Love the shoes. Um, the dress is from Walmart. I bought it during the summer. I have like four of these dresses. Um, they're stretchy. This is a size medium. I know I'm fluffy to those of you guys that want to make it obvious. I get it. I've lost about 100 pounds since my bariatric journey so no complaints here on my end i don't care so this is the outfit of the day hair is wild like always makeup simple and yeah that's it thank you guys for joining me i will see you guys probably in my next video duh oh you guys can follow me on snapchat that's why i get wild no i'm just kidding anyway i'll see you guys have a great day bye